Hello everyone, my name is Dorian and welcome to another race highlights video. We are at Spa with the LMP2 doing ILMS in preparation for the six hours that's coming up this weekend. If you guys are participating in that, you might be interested in knowing that I've played it very conservatively throughout this race. I was saving fuel, I was saving tires like crazy, and I was being extra careful with traffic. Just to see what it'll feel like and how much fuel and tires I can actually save, going for that triple stint, hoping. I've also analyzed some situations that occurred with other drivers, so feel free to leave a comment about that below. Also leave a like, subscribe, and in the description you'll find a track guide with a free setup for this combo. That's it, see you on the track. Guy behind, kinda would break himself there. Good thing I was far enough ahead. I'm just gonna chill behind this guy and try to save as much fuel as I can. And that's the uh, <laughs> complimentary turn one chat <laughs> starting. I'm just gonna save fuel and chill here. Interesting conversation. Probably should have muted chat. I don't have a shortcut for that. I will need to make an effort to stay behind this guy because he is very fast. And my mustache itches. I have plenty of excuses. Oh, he's so quick. So quick on cold tires. Yeah, we got a GTE already. Oh, damn near lost it on the brakes there. I'll leave room. As much as I can, really. He lost a bunch of time for that, though. I'm gonna go for the inside here, nice and easy. Nothing special. Try not to chop his nose off too much. I just didn't want to be too tight on the inside there. Because you don't want to lose a lot of time on the exit like I am right now. Still left him some... Uh, I left him an escape route, let's just say that. If he outbreak himself or something like that. Okay, you gotta try to get him on this corner. I don't know if I'm close enough, I'm probably not. I'm not. Oh, he saw me coming though. I was prepared to let him have the, the, the racing line. I should probably apologize. That was a bit abrupt. Hey, sorry Brad, didn't mean to dive in on you like that. He did really well to clear it away when he saw danger. That's a smart driver. It's all good, Dorian. I was letting you go anyway. On your right. This guy lets me go too. Right. These guys are so nice. I gotta do the American hours more. So kind. I am getting very unlucky with the traffic. Like it seems like the guy in front and the guy behind are getting much luckier, but... Oh well, I mean, it's a cycle. It goes, it com what comes around goes around. We're holding our position nicely. We're saving fuel. That's what matters. I thought this was going to be an easy split. It is not. These guys are chasing me hard. The guy in front is just way too fast for me. He was fast right off the bat with cold tires. He was just flying. I wonder what setup he was using. I need a little bit of luck. He didn't have to clear it away, but thank you. Get him on the exit here. Plan ahead. There you go. Oh, you moved out of the racing lane again. I mean, generally, I would consider that to be unsafe, but the track is so clear, like, they're so spread out, it's not a problem. But if he was chasing someone, I would want him to t carry the same line the guy was that was in front of him would. That makes sense. My broken English. Gonna grab these guys on the exit, it seems. At least this guy. Yeah. I'm go wide, so I allowed myself to go wide as well, or else I would have lifted. Uh, please don't. Please don't make sudden changes. Thank you. I'm sure it was with the best of intentions, but just stick to your line. Unnecessary. 
sometimes when you get unlucky with traffic, you have a tendency to get frustrated and then you start making a very risky move. I know, I've been there. I've done it. Plenty of times. And I, act I actively try to avoid it. This guy right here. I don't know. I'm gonna wait. Yeah. Didn't lose that much time. I mean, I did, but it was worth it. Okay, where do you want to go? All right. Save some fuel here. Try to get this guy into T1. Plenty of GTEs in this split, which is nice because we're going to do a traffic management video, so it's good to have plenty of traffic. Break nice and late here. I don't want them to be around me because they can break very late here too. I don't know if I can catch this GTE, this Ford. I think I can, right before Rouge. If I can beat him to the apex, that's fine. That was, uh, that was touch and go. <laughs> At least he had a chance to see me coming. It wasn't surprised me. I tried to broadcast that that's what I was going to do the whole way. So he was able to take a slightly wider line and we both live to fight another day. This guy I'm going to stick behind. Whole bandit. Let's go, buddy. I don't like overtaking this set of corners. Really unsafe. Very similar corner speeds. I grab them both on the exit. Small lift. Because I am drafting behind them. And I want to make sure I get a good, a good amount of front end grip for the exit. That was planned well. You don't technically need to lift, but it's really worth it to manage the tires here. This is my third race and I keep losing my tires at the end of it. Cost me positions and a lot of frustration. So I am trying to drive more conservatively. You can see it in my race pace. I'm about half a second slower than what I can be. I think that'll be smarter for the long run. We'll see. If I manage to keep my position, I know I've done well. Got a bit lucky with this, these Porsches. Good timing. Ooh. Accidents. I didn't hold my line because I want you to wait. Okay, so this is not the incident that the guys on the radio were talking about. This is just the guy that we saw parked here on the side of the road just now. And this is the leader. It looks like he was expecting him to go to the right sooner than he did. And he was already committed to full throttle. And took him out. See, this is the point... Right now, you see the Porsche going straight. Just now, he's turning the wheel to the right. And if he was, I don't know, half a second, less than half a second even later on the throttle here, it would have been a safe move. He was a little too uh, overzealous, I guess, to overtake him. And it's kind of funny because he, I wasn't really chasing him. He was like six, seven, eight seconds ahead. I don't remember a lot. So I would place the blame on him, but it, it's... It's not an assassination, per se. It's not that stupid of a move, in my opinion, of course. You guys are welcome to comment and say what you think. Uh, he just expected him to be on the right a little bit sooner, and I don't, I'm not blaming nothing on the GTE driver. I don't think he did anything wrong, but I I, I think he just misjudged uh, the, the amount of speed he was carrying and when this guy is going to return to the right. Oh, he's going to get off the racing line. Very kind. I didn't have to do that. I would have waited. Okay, so I'm gonna catch this guy in a pretty compromised position. Very high speed corner. And he won't have many alternative lines here. And he's lagging like crazy. Holy crap. Okay. Take the inside here. Nice and safe. Did good by waiting there. That's a yellow. I'm seeing someone coming up in my relatives. Where does he want to go? Oh no. 
It looked like he was clearing the line, but I guess he wasn't. Wasn't very transparent with his actions there. Wait for the exit. Nice and easy. I waited on that throttle. Well, I saw him clearing the corner. Wait, wait, wait. There you go. Okay. Didn't take the racing line, so I will. Kind of waited to see what he did there. Right, let's go into pets. Don't turn in too early there. That was a little too heavy on the brakes, but not too bad. LMP1 behind me, GP in front of me. What are we gonna do? No, can't go in on that. Can't go on the inside here either. We'll get him under braking for the next one. Well, P1 disappeared. Break nice and late. Try to give him the racing line. There you go. Easy to overtake here if you're already kind of side by side into the corner. That LMP2 just came across the track. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that scares me. Someone crossing the track like that. Okay, something happened to the leader. I wonder if he has damage and we can catch up. Because without damage, I won't be able to. <laughs> He's slowing right down. A lap is this, 22. Take a look at the replay, see what happened to him. What happened, Chain? Okay, and this is what killed the leader. Now, we got an LMP2, LMP1, and another LMP2 being lapped by both of them. Okay? Now, notice what the LMP2 in the front, the white car, is doing. He's not taking the usual line, and you're, when you're being lapped, it's so important that you do it, and I always stress that. He's going all the way to the right. Way, way, way too far to the right, and you can see it coming. The car coming out of pits, just rotten luck for, the, for this guy right here. And he rams into him. So, you can guess what's ha what happens next. GT loses control, gets rammed. His race is ruined. His race is ruined. And yeah, I mean, stick to your line when you're being overtaken by a faster class. All there is to it. Okay, we're going to have to maneuver around this gaggle. Whoa. Close one. Close one. It was easy enough to overtake the Corvette, but I was coming up to the Porsche much faster than I thought I would. So I had to hit the brakes very late there. Nope. Absolutely not. Nope. Still not. I don't care. I should have focused on my exit a bit better, would have made it safer here. But this is where you want to overtake. Got a lift here. You're so much faster on the exit. You catch up to him while turning. So you can make a sudden change in direction. Oh, hello. Okay. Very kind of him. My tires feel great. Look at the uh, on the bottom left. You'll see my tires when I went in the pits. That's about 37 minutes of driving, give or take. That's better than I've ever done it here. This is my third race and I've always ruined the tires. Like the stint, like after I, I pitted in, was terrible. I couldn't drive the car. And right now, I'm still not pushing the car, but 
I feel like if I needed to, I, I could easily. Okay, thanks for clearing the line, buddy. I was just playing conservatively the whole way. I didn't push the car too much at any point. I tried pushing it a little bit, saw the guy in front of me was faster. And just backed off and just maintained the gap from behind. That's all I did. That will be the end of it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do all those social media things. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Yeah.